Hello beautiful people, I hope you're doing well and welcome back again to On How channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop on below in a comment. I would be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. You already know. So if you have any questions, make sure to drop them as well in the comment. I would be happy to make a video for you too. Same as the over 100 videos now I made on Shopify customization. They were mostly requests, not all of them, but mostly requests from subscribers and some people not even subscribers but I'm fine with that just a like button will help me out that's all I'm asking and of course if you are interested in Shopify customization and you want to be an expert follow the channel subscribe that will help you out it's a win-win situation I don't uh, sell anything on this channel all the content I post is completely free so no worries and in this video it's a request again so in this video I will show you how to resize the announcement bar text on the mobile only for your Shopify store and as I said this is a request from a subscriber actually I know he's a subscriber so no worries <laughs> as I said I will show you how to resize the announcement bar text on, on the mobile only so when you switch to the desktop it will be the same but if you switch to the mobile it will be bigger or smaller however you want and not just that I will show you how to actually change the format if you want it bold or italic as well as the color so all of this is a single in a single video and a single call that will change the announcement bar text size and the color and the format as well. Yeah, and this is free. No worries. So <laughs> without any more talking, let's just jump to it. As you can see, this is the Shopify dashboard and this is the down team, which is the team where I do all the videos. I mean demonstration and I have the 15 version, which is the last one as of now. And but below it here, I have other teams as well, which is state, sense, refresh, spotlight, and trade. And if you are wondering why is that, because as I said in the video, I do demonstration and down. However, behind the scenes, I do try each one of my tricks on all of these teams. So I will make sure, even if it, you are not using down team, you are using one of these, it should work for you just fine, including this video that you're watching right now. And even if it didn't, just drop me a comment. I will be happy to help you out because I know updates from Shopify's end can actually break some things sometimes. Not always, but sometimes. So without any more talking again for the second time, let's just get to it. But before we do that, let me show you the announcement bar. So this is the announcement bar, the text on it, as you can see. If I switch to the mobile, by the way, again, if you are interested in how to add the search bar instead of search icon without having to click on it or changing the color for the count bubble on the card, make sure to check out my channel. I already posted those videos and more actually. I said 100 videos, over 100 videos. Again, if I right click, <laughs> if I click on inspect to switch to mobile, let me switch here for the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Here we go. So this is the announcement bar, as you can see. It looks the same as the desktop. So in this video, as I said, I will resize it only on the mobile but if I close this and get back to the desktop it should be the same just like you see right now so obviously I'm gonna keep this page open do the trick come back and see it in action so the first thing you're going to do is as always click on the three dots to the left of customize then click on edit code it will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team and then here we need to find the specific file instead of looking at the files here simply use the social bar the left corner and click on uh, type in sorry team we need to find team.liquid here we go team.liquid and this file exists on all Shopify teams click on it a bunch of code in here we need to find again a specific part of this code and instead of looking at the code like this can be complicated or difficult simply click on the code just like you want to write something don't write anything then use the control F if you are on Windows I mean on the keyboard I'm on Mac I'm going to click on command F and it will show me this prompt at the bottom of the page then type in forward slash head just like this without any spaces then click on enter on the keyboard and it will highlight the part on the call as you can see let me close this so the next thing we need is we need some space between head and script as you can see because we're gonna pass in some code obviously so in order to create that space click front of script hit enter and here we go completely new line nothing on it in order to get that code you need to hire a developer and pay him like 24 hours and all of that no worries just scroll down the description box and you will see a link named as code click on it then it will take you to this page right here we're gonna see a very short code that will do the trick and this code again is completely free no pay please no share please nothing like that just a like button if this video helped you out so obviously select the, the whole code in here make sure to select the whole thing right click copy 
get back in here and paste it in the space that we did create. Let's just paste it in here. So let me get back to the black screen so you can see clearly. So in here, as you can see, it says font size. I think you already know what this means, right? So it says 30. If you want a bigger, increase it. You want a smaller, decrease it. That's simple, right? Color. Color is color, right? <laughs> so this is the hex color. Just Google it. It will show you some palette where you can pick colors and pick the color you want. And this is the font weight. If you want it bold or bolder or italic or whatever you want. If you don't, simply remove this line. That's simple. So let's just get back in here. The next thing you're going to do is after you change all the things you want, click on the save button. And after a couple of seconds, we will get back in here, reload the page and let's just see, as you can see, stays the same. But if I switch to the mobile, what did I do? Here we go. So if I switch to the mobile, wow, it's much bigger in red and bold as you can see you don't want to announce a bar to look at this like this never no don't do that make it smaller and unique and don't do what i did right now do the trick i did but not like i do it anyway you get the idea that's how you resize the announcement bar on your shopify store only on the mobile and if you have any questions make sure to drop them below but for now i think my job is done so thanks for watching catch you on the next one